Hi, this is Keith Furrow, trust name in real estate along the Gulf Coast. Today I wanted to talk to you and let you know kind of where the market's going. One of the things we try to do is every two, three weeks we do a market update and kind of let you know where the trends are so that you kind of have an idea. Um, and if you like our reports, please like us, please share them, and then also give us feedback and let us know any ideas that you might want to talk about. Now, interesting things that we've noticed, you know, we, we've had an year, election year, we've had the COVID situation, we've had some storms, we've had different things. And so we've had some times when there, when people couldn't get out to buy and, you know, and overall it hasn't really affected the market. But the biggest uh, thing that caught me off guard was our inventory has substantially increased in the last few weeks. So that was a little bit interesting. But even though the inventory has spiked up quite a bit, we still only have two months supply. So it's not like we have an over amount of homes out there because sales has also gone up a little bit. So we've had an increase in sale, about sales about 11%. We've had an increase of inventory quite a bit. Um, and so that was kind of a little bit of a surprise. So anyway, some good news there. Um, and it, uh, see, it sort of depends if you're going from a buyer or seller's perspective. More inventory is better for a buyer, less inventory is better for a seller. So that's kind of why we, we talk about this. now. We have, we have about two months, like I said, on existing homes, but we only have, we had about one, about five weeks. So a little bit from five weeks, we went from that. Now, new homes, we've got about a week supply. I thought that was kind of interesting. And with all these new homes we have out there, where people are saying, well, they're building all these new homes. Well, right now, the pace, the builders are barely keeping up with it. So we don't really have an over amount of uh, inventory out there. The other thing I noticed is even though we're at these pretty much at all time highs on average prices and on, on medium prices, there's a slight trend of prices going down. What exactly it means, I'm not sure. Could be just an anomaly. And then we're running about 99%. So like if it's a, a for list to sale price. So if we had $100,000 for an example, we're getting 99,000, maybe even 99,200. So we're almost getting full value. And that means that some are gonna be overpriced and they will sell lower and, and some will be right at market. So we're nearly at market price for everything that's offered. And the trends right now for the um, interest rates, because that's another factor we have to think about, they're up and down every day a little bit. They're basically steady. We're running from about 2.8 to about 3.2 and the trend is supposed to be slightly down between now and the end of the year and even into next year. So we shall see how that's going to be. We are going to be in election week and we don't know. So this is the report for the end of October, early part of uh, November, which would be the Halloween and the election cycle report. Anyway, thought I'd tell you if you uh, have, want more questions or if you'd like us to come out and look at your house, We'd be glad to do it. This is Keith Burrell, the Trust Name Real Estate. Have a great day. Happy Halloween.